Hello and welcome back to another video of Python 2020. Today we will see in Power Automate how can we check folder is adjust. If folder is not adjust in SharePoint library, then how to create a new folder? Before go ahead, it is request to all of you. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. Here you can see this is my SharePoint site, test site, and this is my library. So you can see I have three folders test folder 1, test folder 2, test folder 3, and one Excel file also there. So first we will see the folder is adjust. Same name, right? Like test folder 1 is adjust or not okay so go to power automate and create a new flow manually trigger give the name a folder adjust select manually trigger a flow click on create now click on manual trigger add a input Text. Remove this. Here I am giving the name as a folder name. Folder name. Okay. Now click on new step. Make a new action like variable. This one. Here I am creating a new another variable like a variable folder names. Okay, now this is the array type. Okay, now add new step. This time type SharePoint here. SharePoint and here type list folder. Okay, so this action we will take now. Here you can see site address. So you can go to the SharePoint site and copy this site address and paste here. Okay. Otherwise, you can click on this and here you can see my test site already is available. So, click on this and uh, file identity, this and shared documents. Okay, now done. Now, save this file here. Save this and now test. Select. Select manually, test, continue. And here you can give the whatever you want, you can give here. B double R and done. Okay. Now you can see flow is run successfully. So, first go to the list folder and output okay and here first what we do press control a and control c okay now close it and now go to the edit and add a new step like uh, type parse json Okay. This one and here type uh, body this variable we will use and here we will paste the all schema here. Okay. Now save okay. add new step. You see. 
this is the apply to each apply to each okay mm, okay this one take and here this time we will use body this parse json body okay this variable we will use here now add a new action click on this again we will use apply for each action now this time we will use here you can see this list folder variable body variable we will use okay here now add a new action so here we will use append append to array variable this action we will use click on this okay now here we will use variable that we have created this variable array type so we will use here okay click on this and for value we will use type here display name so i show you where is the display name the parts so you can see first i will copy this and go to the notepad I'll show you displaying where it is notepad. So first for each loop we will body this from here like this array object this one okay so first we will use on this type like from here to here and now you can see the display name and second you will use from this like inside of this uh, array object like id this uh, name display name so we will use we will take this display name got it hope you understand display name like you can see the folder name test folder name so this is the our folder name this one okay now so display name okay so basically we will create a new array new array based on this display name okay now we will take another action here new step or here and here i am using compose on this input this time we will use variable variable folder names variable we will use okay again we will take a new action this is this time we will use condition okay. condition this one. first we will take a condition like output this compose output this one Click on this now we will check contains first that we have created in this manually trigger flow this folder name okay based on folder name we will check here okay. simply you can type folder folder name okay so we will check based on this folder name okay now go to the if folder is not packaged on this and so we have to create a new folder okay create folder create a new folder here we have to give the 
address of our site. So this is the my site name and library. Now here we will select our library documents and folder path. Okay, so folder path I'm using here file same uh, variable manually that we have created folder folder name okay this folder name very good first here you can see first we have created a new folder name variable and here we will create a array and here in this list folder we will we have now we have list of folder okay sharepoint list for folder sharepoint folder list we have here we are using parse json and here we will use now after that here we are using apply to each so this time is body this is the list of uh, folder body and this is the you can see append to array object so we will create a array new array based on display name okay now you can see compose so this is the our new variable new array we can say this is the our new array where is the all folder name based on display name okay now here you can see we are using a condition so output of this compose uh, action and contains of folder name now if folder is not exist so we will create a new folder like site, give the site name and library and folder path so folder path we are using folder name okay now save and i'll show you Now test. Really, here I'm giving the. This time we have to give the folder name. Suppose uh, I am giving the name as a demo. Okay. First, I show you. This time, I, uh, demo folder name. I don't have. Okay. Now, run the flow. Run. So it's running. Okay. Yeah, running is successfully. You can see your flow and ran as successfully. Now go to the SharePoint. Ah, okay. So here you can see our new flow, new folder is created. Demo. Now again I show you the edit and say. And again, we will test. This time, we will give the same folder name that we have. So, we have demo folder. Okay. Now, run the flow and done. Already, we have a demo folder. Let's see. So is run successfully this, this time what what is not created new new folder because we already we have demo folder okay so hope you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos i will see you in the next video with new topic on power automate till then happy learning